When I was young, there was this uh, thing in the house called um, liver salts, or laterally it came known as health salts. Maybe it was just different brands of different names. And I see it's still available. And I quite enjoyed this when I was young because, uh, basically speaking, it's a powder. And when you take a spoonful of that powder, this healthful powder, and you put it in a glass of water and mix it in, After a short delay it starts fizzing and frothing and then you drink it while it's fizzing and mm, allow me to drink it while it's fizzing. Mm. Very nice. Slightly sweet, slightly salty, slight residue at the bottom. Um, and what this was supposed to do, apparently, you can imagine from the title Liver Salts, that it was originally intended to replenish your liver after a strong night's drinking. Um, and presumably the, the health salts, well, let's see, what does it say? Uh, what do they do? They effectively relieve indigestion, excess acid, cyst symptoms of overindulgence. I mean, that goes right back to the Victorian era. Upset stomach and constipation. Oh, dear. Right, okay. Right, I'm not, hope I'm not going to get a squitch from this experiment. So I was thinking, uh, could I make my own uh, liver salt? So I'm just going to dry this spoon because uh, it turns out the ingredients aren't that exotic. It contains magnesium sulfate, sodium hydrogen carbonate and citric acid. And you think, oh, they're all, they all sound very chemically. Until you realise that um, sodium hydrogen carbonate Let's see. Waitrose cooks home baking bicarbonate of soda for bubbly batters. Uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate. Okay, so that's uh, bicarbonate of soda. Citric acid. That's easy enough. It's a sort of it's a um, common acid available. Oh, oh God, that's so sour. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Don't eat it direct. That's very, very sour. Um, and that's uh, commonly available in one kilogram bags on eBay. Or probably from any other sort of chemical supplier or local chemist, maybe even. And that just leaves magnesium sulphate. Now, magnesium sulphate, I did a search online. It turns out it's Epsom salts, and that's another household chemical and also available in one kilogram bags on eBay. And that just leaves the final ingredients, which is sucrose, finely powdered sucrose. And that's sugar. And the most convenient source of finely powdered sugar is icing sugar. So uh, let's try and make our own health salts. Now I do notice it's got quite specific uh, percentages here. It's like, for instance, the sodium hydrogen carbonate, the bicarbonate of soda, is 22.6%. Citric acid is 19.5%. Uh, magnesium sulfate, 17.4%. And then it contains about, yeah, the rest is basically sugar. So I was thinking, uh, no, let's just round everything up to a nice round 20%. It's also worth mentioning that bicarbonate of soda and uh, citric acid and sugar is a children's confection called sherbet. Sherbet dip dab, sherbet fountains. Hmm, interesting. So let's get a set of scales and make ourselves some of this miracle health powder. So here's the scales. I shall uh, turn them on. Actually, I should have put the dish on first. I'll just tear that back to zero. So let's see what we start off with first. We'll make it 20, 20, 20 of each of these and then 40% the sugar. So let's start with the Epsom salts. 20 grams of Epsom salts. Mm, we turn a bit more. 20 grams of Epsom salt, 20 grams of citric acid, so this will take it up to 40. Almost there. And 20 grams of bicarbonate of soda. which is nice fine powder. The grainiest of them all is the Epsom salts. It's, it also seems to absorb moisture quite a lot as well. Oh, we tiny bit more. 
going for exact, exact figures here. And that just leaves the final ingredient, sugar, to give it that sweetness. Oh, this is very powdery. So I'm looking for the rest to make it up to 100 grams now. Oh, it's quite a lot of sugar to make it up to 100 grams. Yeah, we need a tiny bit more. Okay, that's us at 100. So um, now uh, I shall mix these together thoroughly and then we'll try another glass fill and see how it uh, compares. Get all these chemicals off here, these household food grade chemicals. I may actually put a lid in this and shake it, but I'll give it a, a good stir round first. Get the scales out of the way. I think it would benefit some of these things, the coarser grains like the Epsom salts, to be just ground a wee bit finer. Because they do come a fairly, uh, I suppose maybe they're available in a fine, fine powder form. It would probably help it dissolve quicker in the glass. Right, I'm going to put a lid in this and shake it. This is where it just comes off and goes everywhere. Okay, so is this going to be my health salts? Well, let's uh, clean this glass out and find out. One moment, please. So let's stick a, a spoonful of this new miracle powder in and see if it fizzes. Oh yes. Oh, it's slightly fizzier than the other one. Let's see if it tastes the same. It tastes absolutely identical. Yeah, that is just exactly the same flavour. And about the same amount of residue at the bottom. So, um, there you go. How to make your own health salts. I mean, this stuff, these uh, come in at a very variable price, um, up to about five pounds or so per tub. They're very expensive locally. And the ingredients, I mean, this is about, um, I think this was about 80, 90 pence. Uh, the icing of sugar is about a pound for a big bag like this. And other things are cheaply available. The citric acid and the Epsom salts are cheaply available on eBay. So if you if you do use quite a lot of uh, Epsom salt, uh, uh, Epsom salts, uh, health salts, uh, then, yeah, making your own is suddenly a viable option.